Gentlemen, welcome to Tribal Council for Survivor Rove LA. <laughs> it's time to vote. Rove, I know you're the host, but I like Jeff, and Vanderbeek says he can get me Katie Holmes' number. Rove, when I arrived tonight, you called me Dawson's geek, so. And Dawson is such a crybaby. How do you spell Vanderbeek? Uh, you know what? It's too many words. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the show immediately. I'll tally the votes. Rove. Hang on, what? Rove. Rove? Hey, you voted twice! Just wanted to make sure, Rove. I don't need the competition. F***ing probst! Oh, tribe has spoken. Survivor, Jeff Probst. Musician, Ben Folds. And actor, James Vanderbeek. And now, from Warner Brothers Studios, here's Rove McManus. You're hot dudes! <laughs> there is a very excited lady in the audience. Thumbs up. She came on the right night. It's very exciting. And uh, it's exciting times, no matter where you are at the moment. Because I should point out that uh, everyone right now here in the States is counting down to the presidential election. And it's a couple of days away. But we had weird times everywhere. So, for example, in Australia, uh, the election, it's coming but hasn't happened yet. In New Zealand, they don't get this till like 2014. <laughs> what happened, TV3? Uh, but if you're living uh, in the States, you already know the result. So allow me to say congratulations to President... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. I know. We will obviously... We will dub in the winner's name when this goes to air. Uh, unless, of course, Obama and Romney were actually defeated by someone called... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And then we won't have to dub anything, which would be great. Um, although I would be worried that President blah 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 blah's name uh, might reflect some of his politics, which could be a worry. What are you going to do to fix the Middle East? <laughs> blah 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 blah. Uh, so he became Mr Bean all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, and fast approaching is another event, one that is just as important. Uh, what am I saying? It's far more important than the US election. Australians, it's the Melbourne Friggin' Cup! <laughs> now, Ben, you, you, you've spent many a day in Australia. You know, do you know what the Melbourne Cup is? Have you yeah. Heard? Yeah? <laughs> Do you know? No, I don't. I no? Don't no? It is it is a horse race. It is it is the Australian uh, what is it? Kentucky, Kentucky Derby? Derby. Thank you, Jeff, thank you. Uh, we like to call it the race that stops a nation. Um, if only it stopped the nation from drinking our weight in champagne <laughs> and then pissing in the car park, but <laughs> I guess we can't have everything. But it's such a big deal that we thought we'd conduct our very own Melbourne Cup here tonight. We spared no expense and flew four of the top fancies uh, for the Cup here to LA. Unfortunately, someone forgot to put holes in the carriers and they died. <laughs> so we're using pigs instead! Every cloud 
Now, each of our guests, I don't know if you're aware of this, but you will each have your own pig <laughs> later in the show, and uh, we'll be racing to get a prediction on this year's Cup winner. Uh, we'll have profiles. Uh, in fact, I will uh, also be taking part, uh, and so I'll give you a rundown of my pig. This is him. Uh, he will be representing Americaine. Uh, 15 kilos on the bar. His pedigree, he's the sister to Honey Boo Boo. Um, his religion is Jewish, but it's not strict, so he still eats pork. Um, nickname, uh, apparently Ashton Butcher. That's interesting. Odds of six to one, Americaine, ladies and gentlemen. He looks good. He's ready to go. Four legs good, two legs bad. Not in the case of tonight's guest. There they are. Let's meet them. Survivor in his new US talk show, The Jeff Probst Show. It's Jeff Probst! <laughs> Frontman of Ben Folds 5, it's Ben Folds! <laughs> and from Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, say hello to James Van Der Beek! <laughs> hey! You know, James is very, he's always, look at him now, he's, everything about him is always very calm and cool and suave. Stylish, he's styling and rocking a great pair of socks. Well, thank you. <laughs> life, 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 life's too short to wear black or white socks, I always say. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, there you go. Just hey, saying. Can I, can I ask you guys about the election? Because uh, I've, I've learned some very interesting things since I moved here to America. So what you might not be aware of in Australia is that when you hit 18, it's uh, law that you have to vote. You have no choice. It is compulsory. It's mandatory. You have to vote. Did what do they do? What, what do they do if you don't vote? You get fined. You get. You have really? to pay money. Wow. And and six sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but in the States, it's different, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So you yeah. register to vote, is that correct? Yeah, you're supposed to register to vote. But what's funny is a lot of, uh, I have friends who won't vote because they don't want to do jury duty, yeah. which is connected. If you vote, yeah. they have your information. I actually have friends who are like, I'm not voting, I don't want to do jury duty. Is that how it works? Yeah. And, but even then, if you register, like Ben, if you're a registered voter, you don't have to vote. Is that correct? You don't have to turn up. That's correct, yeah. And, and it's actually a bit of a pain in the ass to, to register. And then there's the jury thing, too. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, uh, one of the very interesting things I learned as a statistic was that more people vote for American Idol than vote for... <laughs> hey, what? Then vote for the US president. And I looked it up. 10 million more people vote for American Idol. Yeah, but it was Adam Lambert. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, there's a man who knows how to not rock a pair of socks. He was on this show with no socks whatsoever. You don't care. Why did I bring it up? But what I thought would be interesting was to test you guys on uh, more or less than vote for the president. So let's just say for the amount of people that voted for, for Obama last election oh, was 69 million people. Now, have a guess. The number of people who bought a Big Mac in the past month, do you think it's more or less than voted for Obama? That's All over the world? Sure. Let's say yes. Yes. Yeah. More. Not anymore. Ben? That's not really fair. It should be America against America. <laughs> like the Civil War. Yeah, yeah. Like the good old days. Yeah. I'm saying yes either way. Yeah, uh, you're probably right. I'm it's a lot of it, it, is, yeah. it is more. It's 75 million people. Wow. <laughs> okay, the number of people who watched that sneezing baby panda on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, I know the one. Oh, I know the one. Is that more or less than voted for the president? Wow. Uh, is that more? 149 million people. <laughs> it's, it's like way more. Uh, here's one. The number of people who follow Lady Gaga on Twitter. More or less than voted for the president? Less. Less. Yeah, she's only got 31 million, but that's still, that's impressive. Only 31 million How many people. do you have? Like seven. Oh. My, my family. But they're a great seven. Yes. Very loyal. Uh, and one last one. Number of times Lindsay Lohan has been charged with drunk driving. <laughs> That's close. I, it's close, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, it is less. But uh, still 55,000 DUIs. That's impressive. <laughs> impressive. She's never coming on the show. <laughs> um, do, you, do you feel yes. badly when you make a joke like that about Lindsay? No, she's fine. <laughs> yeah. okay. I mean, uh, after the first time, yes. 
But after three, four, twelve times, you kind of go, come on, yeah. just get a cab. <laughs> <laughs> ben Folds, we know you as the piano virtuoso of Ben Folds 5, but you started as a drummer with a percussion scholarship. What changed? I didn't know that. Well, I was, um, I was majoring in percussion for a semester, declared major, and then I had to leave school, go bag groceries for a while. Really? Oh. Yeah. And then when, when, when no, I was bagging groceries, I was making up songs. And you can't make up songs on the drums as easily. Well, you can, but... You do that. But I like chords. Singing in a song. <laughs> Have you seen him play drums and bass with his drumstick? No. Right? Right, you saw yes, that. I saw that. It's very cool. <laughs> Uh, James, you put the Dawson in Dawson's Creek and are now starring in Don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23, but you recently got in trouble buying your co-star a present. How well, does that happen? Yeah, well, I didn't, I mean, I didn't get in trouble, but, um, for her birthday, I got her some wolf pee. Hang on, as in, like, real wolf urine? Wolf urine, yeah. <laughs> Where do you... <laughs> Firstly, why? <laughs> and when, where do you get wolf pee? Wolf pee from? Well, the why, the why is uh, she moved into a house that I had actually previously lived in. She's renting the house that I lived in. And I knew that they had coyotes. And she's got this little tiny dog, Mikey. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want Mikey to get eaten by coyotes because that would suck. <laughs> and so um, and I, I did some research and I found out the best way to keep coyotes away is to spray, you know, wolf urine around so that the coyotes smell the wolf and think, ooh, this is not a place to hang out. Good call. <laughs> so I went online. I googled wolf pee. Of course you did. And after accidentally clicking on a few videos I wish I could unsee, <laughs> um, I eventually found a, a, what looked to me to be a fairly reputable <laughs> supplier of, of wolf urine. Of course. Yeah. And then, so what was the problem? What was the problem with getting that as a gift? Well, I didn't tell her why I was giving it to her. <laughs> Which did probably would have been useful information for her to have, I think. Right. I mean, so did I just she think it was a perfume and... or something? <laughs> when it was all said and done, did she find the romance in it? I think she thought it was very sweet. I think she thought it was sweet. What do you get the person who has everything? Wolf pee. Wolf pee. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a job collecting a bottle of that stuff. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Now, 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 now if, if, if a wolf wanders onto her property and eats her dog, then I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's when yeah. you get called in to have to piss all over the backyard. That's <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you say that? Fucked. <laughs> I have been on daytime. Shit, time. yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh. Don't tell me. I'm just saying, I started... The a tripe has spoken, and it's got a potty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can, I can swear with the best of them, but I, it, the, the daytime world is sucking the soul out of my motherfucking tit-sucking. Hey! You know. Yeah, I mean... Oh, that's pretty good. Welcome to the show. <laughs> hey, Mr. Daytime Talk Show Jeff Probst. Uh, of course, well, world-renowned host of Survivor and your new talk show, The Jeff Probst Show. But recently, you got turned away by a nightclub doorman. I find that astounding. Astounding. Well, yes. Yeah, well, the funny thing is, I, I, I don't really go to clubs. My wife and I don't go out to clubs that much. But I had a buddy in town. He said, I really, I really want to get into this club. Do you think you could help me get in? I said, I can't help you get in. And, but we can go and we'll stand in line like everybody else and we'll get in. So I get there a little bit late and, and my buddy calls me on my cell phone. He goes, it's all, it's all wired. I went up to the front. I said, I got the survivor guy here. And the guy said, I love him. Sweet. Bring him up front. I'll get you right in. And I don't, you know, it's an uncomfortable thing because especially if you get turned down, which I'm about to. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the survivor guy. Yeah. Come on. Whatever. Yeah. So. Uh, he tells me, and I'm like, oh, man, why? He goes, I didn't want to wait. In Look, at that line's two hours long. Okay, so I walk up, and I'm ready to talk about Survivor, Australia, one of our great, or, like, buffs or tribal council. I've got all my, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to talk Survivor. And I walk up, and he goes, hey, he, this is it. This is Survivor guy. And he's like, what are you talking about? That's not Survivor guy. And I go, no, I, actually, I am the Survivor guy. He goes, no, 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 man, you're not Bear Grylls. You're not Survivor man. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. He said, Sorry. Sorry. I can't do it. You get knocked back. All these people watching me walk past him <laughs> are going, oh, yeah, Mr. Big Time. See you at the back of the line, bitch. <laughs> yeah. You know what you should have done? 
You should have drank your own urine. <laughs> Just sat there, just you know, you're right. To a cup and gone. Nah. Yeah. Then you get in. Yeah, you're right. right. That's, That's what, what he does. It's not just a weird thing I want Jeff Probst to do. <laughs> That's what Bear Grylls does. It's what he yes. does exactly. Fact. All right, we're going to take a break. Coming up, Jeff kisses and tells. Yeah.